You're not, you're missing out on this. And little Johnny and his father swing by and see some of the great smash events we have going on here in Tri-State. Here it is. I this Tri-State, this tri <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're actually, we're on the far east side of CT, so I don't know if we It's close enough, we'll I'm make rounded, it work. I'm rounded, Either way, we have Ling in probably one of the most comfortable matchups, I would have said, oh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. But if there was anyone who could beat him in this matchup, you're looking right at a PK Chris yeah, and Ling. Yeah, PK Chris a... actually did a really good job at that at the last, like, a, well, I believe it was um, an Aeon regional. So he was able to get a W over him where Ling has absurd amount of matchup experience playing against Tony for years. And I, I, this is going to be really close, especially if Ling can't consistently hold ledge traps like he's trying to do right now. Right, right. Ling, if Ling put a montage together of Ness edge guards, people would be like, snooze. Bro. He did. Who cares? <laughs> but who cares? Like, he did like four times. Because uh, <laughs> he's got that many. But... Chris is so good at mixing up the recoveries, so good at putting the offense on. It's not going to be the only thing. Ling's going to have to do a whole lot more to make it all work. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like the idea. He tried ah. to take the hit from it, but he did actually push him too far in because PK Chris tried to adjust to the root, so he didn't get that hit. Unfortunately, he didn't get the wall bounce he's looking for for the second PK Thunder. Right, right. He got the little bonk. Never like to see it. If you're an S fan, Ling back on the defensive for once here. Chris put on the offense and stuck at the ledge. This is also where Ness is so good, man. These aerials just come out so fast, create a little bit of a wall. And uh, Ling getting some poetic justice finally. Getting I'm also out the area. really glad that you clarified, you know, only if you're a, a Ness fan, because there are definitely some people who saw that went, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ness is. The Ness haters no, are thriving. So, some people <laughs> definitely feel some type of way about Ness, and Ling is definitely one of them, and what he's done over the years. PK Chris, though, he one of his best options that he has that goes for him is his ability to avoid getting edge guarded because right. of his usage of PK Flash. So if he can mix up Ling and get some quick damage on, he's got him pretty much at throwing range right now. He can get right back into this. And speaking of throwing range, almost taking that stock with that back throw, but ooh, that PK Thunder, so good, but if you're fast enough like Ling was in that situation, it can be rough, good, good route there. So good from PK Chris. Yeah, you gotta know those routes, man, especially against somebody who constantly just pressures you there. Bro, all right. You He's sick don't feel it. so bad about that because nah. of the way that Link juked underneath that platform, a lot of people got hit by that. <laughs> All right, no dodge here. Not going to get the counter. The tail of PK Thunder saving PK Chris's stock. And Link still holding on. Yeah, 153. All right, yeah, you're not living that near no. at that point. That was really fresh, too. I don't think I saw one that connected before. Right. So as long as you avoid the short hop dip, 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 on cue, the, the short hop PK fire from the start, especially on these platforms, is always going to be the combo start he's looking for there. Yeah, this is actually a really good stage so far for Link. The platform give him a little bit of a different route to take because obviously Peach likes a oh Peach likes to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Peach likes to put hands on you and you do not want to be a part of that. You want to back off as quickly as possible. And also occasionally she hits you with them heels too. Mm -hmm. This like he's he's putting playing at such a perfect range where any burst option that he has is mostly just a forward air. Right. And that's all he's getting. Exactly, exactly. Nice use of the down air to clank with the Thunder. Ling finally finding a way back onto the middle of the stage, putting the pressure on, but the landing somehow working out for Chris. And all of a sudden, a reversal, holding down center stage. And as I said that, there it oh, goes. Oh, the frame traps, man. There's yep. not much you could do in that spot. It's oh, 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 RNG's is coming oh, through no. and shutting it down. Ling already coming through with the RNG's. Jesus. There's a lot of people who have to start to head home at this point because the con is getting closer to the end right, of right. the day. So there's not as many people in the crowd true, to true, go true. nuts for that moment. But, but we get insane. to go nuts for that moment. When Ling starts pulling like that, it's going to be a bad time. The timing on that, too. And I didn't really know. <laughs> I, did, yeah. I love, I love the, like, the stall. Me too, Ness. Me too. The way, like, I didn't know how the interaction was going to work for sure. Because the PK Thunder 2 has, it's got its hot and cold days. But that, unfortunately, not working out for PK Chris. Ling going up game one. The hometown hero trying to hold it down here in the loser's bracket. Definitely have to get a... Oh. A couple, a uh, couple more games, sir. <coughs> Running it back here to Battlefield as well. Link loves Battlefield, but in in your mind, I think part, of, me personally, I think part of it is because he wa uh, PK Chris wants to be able to da dare cancel and yes. use that PK fire. But right. what about that last match? Do you think brought PK Chris back here to P uh, Battlefield? I don't know. Like I think it was actually better for Ling, but it might just be a comfort pick. It might just be a statement saying like, listen, the bomb was the only thing there. I know I can win on this stage. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable here. The platforms were good for him too. He could he did extend some of the aerial chases with him, like we're seeing in this exact situation here. Uh, but we'll see how it works out. I think Ling having the platforms is actually better. It gives Peach some more routes instead of that boring yes. horizontal one, you know? That's the biggest thing that you have to watch out for when you decide to counterpick someone like that to this point because right. Ling could float for a while and hover about that. So PK Chris right. has to make him pay for that. He has to condition him to not feel comfortable floating that eye because Ling is not above going to that top platform and floating away, away from you oh, to yeah. not get grabbed. He will hold that lead. For sure. Shouts to G Extreme losing the timeout game three for this Very qualifier. True. So. <laughs> You know, he's no stranger. He just makes it look good, so no one hates him. 
That's true. <laughs> Actually, yeah. He, he he stylizes it in a way because he has the ability to cash out big combos. Oh, but, oh wind, wow. Bro. Yeah, your jump is gone. Force guard. to take that big put. No! Oh, just fades back. Good job for PK Chris because that could have easily been a stock. It was looking like part of that combo. Devin video. has his hands on his heart right I'm now. Saying. Like this boy almost got murdered in front of me. That was just <laughs> the wrong smash tag. Wrong amount of charge or hold. You know, could it's almost been it, but so close. Uh, still holding the offensive though. Ling looking like. In the driver's seat until that nair finally yep. giving Chris some room to breathe. I like Holy. the mix up PK Chris is starting to do now. He usually right. he's he's pretty solid with side magnet mix ups, but he doesn't do them too often depending on the matchup, especially here against Peach because he doesn't want to overcommit and fight her in the air, lose on an air to air. Exactly. But now he's pulling it out as a ledge trap option to try and bait Ling to be aggressive with maybe like a Peach bomber and then punish that. Yep, and we saw there nice use of the jump there, get out of the grab situation. Now PK Chris holding down center stage. Ling is just so slick with the movement, though, it's hard to try and pin him down. So Ooh. slick with the move, bro. They, they, that took like 30 seconds before anybody hit each other. Right. We talk about how everybody is like swinging in this top eight, and we already ran into a spot where they're sitting here <laughs> replaying Dancing Queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now both of them a little nervous to try and get that center stage. PK Thunder, pretty huge for Chris. Now we see what see if any of these aerials can connect or forward tilt, but it's going to be the back air from Ling. Another great route because of that platform from Battlefield. Oh, well, the, that's it for sure. Honestly, I like what Chris tried to do. It didn't work, though. No Because he, he tried so hard to avoid that and then maybe try to bait Ling after he got hit by the turnip. Like, I still right. have a jump, so maybe he'll think that I'm just gone. Ling is going to go down there after you. So, in hindsight, you would think that would work, but it just did not. And now he's got a very comfortable lead here. But it is best of five, so he still has an op another opportunity possibly after this game if he loses here. Possibly. That bonk's going to be treacherous, but the hit is somehow working out for PK Chris. Stuck on the ledge. Peach Bomb, we're going to put him right back off, though. Air dodge here, good use of the shark with up air. Paving yeah. the way. Nice option you want to hold on to, especially as the set goes on. But right now, <laughs> speaking of sharking up airs, Ling is just keeping them stuck. I don't recall the last time I saw uh, PK Chris prior to that comfortably win a neutral win as right, well. Right. So he's finally getting some hits. Drag down late hit of up air, doesn't get the KO with up tilt. He's got to find something ASAP. All right, stuck on the ledge one more time. But again, another roll on in the Peach Bomber. Good route from Chris, but Ling's offense is so good right in this situation. Holding down center stage still. Oh, looking for those aerials to try and catch the approach. Finally, Chris sneaks in the forward air. Yeah, that took a while to get that. Ooh, wow, the bravery just getting right up in front of that. Not even caring. But he knew his roll distance. He knew he was out of range. Now he challenges him all the way off stage. He's up a stock, so it's worth it at that time. The Nair will put him off stage, though. All oh, you yeah. like. One PK fire in a dream. That's pretty much we'll get this game back to even. Right. We're going to need uh, definitely a lot to happen very quickly. But Ling already looking like he's looking to close it out. The movement. We've seen it so many times before. That forward air almost connecting. But holding down center stage. Those PK fires are... They're going to be surprisingly committal if Chris misses one while yeah. Ling's on the hunt, for sure. That's why he's like fading away a bunch as he throws it out. He's trying to stay safe on a platform. But at some point, if you give Ling the opportunity, he's going to get underneath that, and he's going to punish you for it. So he's got to play perfectly. Yep. Two PK flashes coming through, getting himself back on the stage. Only for a moment. Oh, wait, oh. he actually gets avoided. But that, the throw puts him off. That was such a good movement there from Ling. Working around all of Ness's burst options, sneaking in the grab to get Chris back off stage and just fighting for his life on the ledge right now. AG, he's struggling. He's struggling. It's hard. This boy's struggling as he got slapped right in the back of the ass. I don't even know how else to put it. It's just like, yo, you came home late? I ain't about this. And Ling <laughs> and looking calm and collected, too. I'm like, saying. <laughs> all that excitement, and it cuts to the Ling player cam, and he's just stone face. Like, it's like, look, I'm, I'm good. It's a day I'm in good. the office, though. That's, that's a, like, you know, it's nothing for him. Also got confirmation while he's wearing the One Piece hoodie. Uh, somebody decided to ask him what his favorite character was. Yeah. It is Robin. Based, bro. Yes. I, I, I just had. Look, you know, common zero enjoyers and everything, right? But like, Robin. Great so pick. true, dude. I literally, I was at the con here at Connecticut Gamer Con, and I got a Nico Robin air freshener from my friend. So there you go. It's just man of good taste. I, Peach, I, I agree. Also, was that air freshener because of Smash Community? Hey. Anyways, um, so uh, so game number three here. We got PS2 coming up. Don't give me that look. <laughs> PS3 Save it for Twitter, big dog. No, no. Wait, did I say PS3? Take. I don't PS3, even know. PS3, bro. The PS3. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. The whole new stage. Hey, yo, PS3 do make some good games too, though. But like PS2, running it here on game number three, that's yes. what I meant to okay. say. Good save, uh, good save. PK Chris has got a lot of work to do. Right. I, I think a big thing is that he's been trying to establish short hot game. He's been trying to win on air to airs with these fairs, which is what you need to do in the first place. But Ling just keeps playing just outside of range on shield. Right, right. That if he does get one hit, 
that's all he's really getting. Now he's starting to get some damage now, which could lead to a big problem, but that he just misses. That almost cost Sling a stock. <laughs> I'm breathless. Also, Chris, not getting hit by these long range turnips, thankfully. Nice use of the clank there. We can see what the play is here. Just putting the pressure on, trying to get a big hit, but Chris sneaks back in, holding down center stage now. Big back air. Oh, you know, so, okay, wow, he on paper that looked like a good idea because you're trying to throw him off. You haven't gone for a deep edge guard like that before. You've mostly just been holding ledge. Right. But it was misposition, and Ling saw through it. If there's one thing that Ling is incredibly strong at that we've all been dealing with for years. <gasps> that round was nuts. Dude, it, 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 that's a good example. He <laughs> always plays just in a spot where you think you could punish him, but he knows, and then he fades out. His mm -hmm. defense is so good. And we're seeing it right here, too, staying just out of the burst options from PK Chris while he's edge guarding, basically. And now still just holding down center stage. So good at keeping that stage control. Oh, wow. Oh, oh he's he, uh, holding out was the best option. DIing sure, in immediately sure. after with an air dodge. That could have been a lot worse, but he got away with it. Ling was lining it up, too. I could see the like the flow chart in his head. But. Yo, straight up, he's always he, like it's always cooking. He's yeah. ready for the next zero to death clip. He could figure out. He's got <laughs> right, them all right. laughed out. Oh, man. Shouts to Mr. Ryan Ness. That's hey. the <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh my God! Poor Ryan. He was the first. He was the first victim mm -hmm. of the back hit of turnip. Big hit of turnip forward air. Another turnip throw just to try and force the issue. A good route from Chris, barely missing everything, and sneaking back in. All right, there you go. Yeah, Chris, you got to get the combo extension. He wanted a spot dodge on that platform with that PK flash so he can get some Ooh. damage. But that's your Huge. jump gone. Now you're going to be forced out to take this. But he gets in just enough. He still gets covered by the back air, though. This is the life of almost every Ness who ever fights against Ling. This is looking rough. But that was an amazing route he took there, too. Yep. Love that. Ling kind of playing it safe. I mean, he's just been doing so good on stage. No real need to force the issue and have some sort of terrible accident happen. Big forward throw here is going to start a, a big opportunity for Chris. We'll see. I feel, the like, extension is, though. I feel like terrible accident is the majority of how people talk about when they lose to Ness. Like, yeah, yeah man, look, I was up. I didn't lose, then, bro. Yeah, like, look, I ain't lose. They were matching, bro. No, I'm you got hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you should have held shield better. They're always swinging. <laughs> held shield better is a good <laughs> advice. Big Nair catching that. Honestly, like, the Battle of the Nairs is this matchup, too, in a little little bit. It, it kind of is, yeah. certain instances. That one for sure. And it's going to work out for Ling here to start the, another big combo. That was crazy. The movement, of sneaking the forward air and getting the grab. Oh, hold up. Oh, like that late hit drag down up air, but he was ready. He was swinging yep. out here. He wasn't going to do with that. That's still kind of scary, too, because frame two jab is on Peach. So she'll right, beat right. you most of the times in that spot. This is still very doable for Chris. If anybody's got some belief, by the way, it's all right. Never mind. It's starting to. So, all right. OK, maybe it's evaporating. It say. might it might be slowly working away from what I thought. There <laughs> see. Oh, look, shark in the air dodge. But Ling on the offensive, looking for that Nair, I looking for more aerials. The spacing incredible. Peach Bomber coming out. He'll advise, though. Uh, all right. Well, it's Chris fine. fans, it's uh, over. That is not where you wanted to be. That was actually two stocks in that pivotal game going basically to Chris himself, serving it up. Basically on a silver Brutus platter. Screen in, like. in the game, man. Oh, yeah. Did I win? Yeah, you did. Okay, Obviously, we know. You only say it on the victory yeah, screen. Yeah, we get it. I, Jesus. But, I mean. Yeah, you do you, Queen, though. For that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's on brand, too. That, that's, and that, amount that of one was like right on the. Uh, it was it was just off of a good angle to get it too, right, but right. he just missed. But this the overcommitment. Thank you for this replay, by the way. Shouts to House on production. <laughs> Best ever. Do it. Like look, all right. So the hard fade in, right? But right outside of the up air, and then the immediate parasol back up and <laughs> back to the ledge. Chris, looking for that grab there because you look. You want like if you're Chris in that situation, you want to go in, catch that sort of roll distance back throw to take the stock. Ling knew that, Chris knew that, and that's why Ling went back to the ledge and made it look mm -hmm. so clean. And the forward air is going to take that stock though in that replay, and they were scrapping when they wanted to. Yeah, but it definitely was a game of both players trying to play at this mid range to force an option out of the other. And it just happened to work out in Ling's favor more often than not. It's the smart thing to do too when you're fighting against Ness, right? Because if you're constantly if you're constantly rushing up on Ness, you're gonna lose because Ness is gonna beat you majority of the time on the short hop game. He's gonna yeah. definitely beat you on the grab game for as sure. the stack goes sure. up. So you have to be able to mix up the Ness the right way, make them whiff because they do have some committal options. Some of them are pretty easy when they auto cancel, but right. you have to get them to the whiff if you want to get the game, and that's how Ling was exactly. able to shut it down. Exactly. And if you want to check out and research that VOD, 